Hey, welcome. Let's talk about how to awaken your own G-spot. So this is a really big topic of like how to find a woman's G-spot or how to locate and stimulate a woman's G-spot. But what will make you an expert of your own sexual anatomy, your own pleasure and your own body is if you actually understand your own G-spot pleasure and orgasm, if you can find it, first of all, that's just amazing for your own self-pleasure, for your own orgasmic capacity and to mix up where you touch yourself inside of self-pleasuring makes you a more dynamic lover because when you use different parts of your body geographically you're actually stimulating different parts of your pleasure anatomy different nerves get stimulated different parts of your brain get activated when you have a g-spot orgasm than when you have for instance an external clitoral orgasm so locating and playing with your g-spot is amazing just to do it for the sake of your own pleasure it also helps self pleasuring feel more exciting, more exploratory, and even deeper. Because when you have an orgasmic experience that originates from deep inside your vaginal canal, or just inside of your vaginal canal at all, that creates more full-bodied pleasure because the expanding energy from the wave of pleasure or the wave of orgasmic pleasure actually moves up and inside of your body. Whereas if you only ever touch yourself externally on your clitoris, the energy can tend to move down and out, which makes it harder to have full-bodied orgasmic pleasure. And if you have a lover or a partner, knowing your own G-spot, where it's located, how it feels, how to stimulate it, what feels good to you, is one of the key ways to being able to guide a lover to give you incredible G-spot massages, to be able to stimulate you in the ways that really work for you, and additionally, to be able to have more pleasure from intercourse with a penis, dildo, or fingers. All right, so let's get ready. So some G-spot tips, first of all, I think one of the most important keys is to notice if you have any resistance to putting your fingers inside of yourself during self-pleasure. So a lot of women and people with vaginas do actually feel a little bit of squirminess around touching themselves internally. One of the best ways to know your own internal pleasure roadmap is to touch yourself. So I also recommend purchasing a G-Spot toy because this can be exquisitely pleasurable. It can be a lot of fun to mix it up inside of your own self-pleasure routine, but there's no substitute for feeling so comfortable with your own body. So you can clip your nails, wash your hands, feel ready hygienically, but get ready to explore internally because this will change how you understand your own internal pleasure geography. Additionally, before you stimulate your G-spot, you always want to be turned on in some other way. So you wanna start by giving yourself a breast massage, you wanna start by touching your clitoris, your vulva, really make sure that you're turned on because your G-spot is the female prostate, which is actually erectile tissue. That means that it's only going to feel good if you're already good and turned on. If you try and find your G-spot when you're not that turned on, it's not gonna feel good it's gonna feel kind of medical or awkward or even painful so make sure that you are really warmed up in your own pleasure practice before you start to explore the g-spot step two is to actually check in with your pussy does your pussy desire penetration from your fingers or from a toy this is so important because our culture has taught us like just shove it in there. Just, you know, I'm feeling like it. If my fingers wanna go in there, if I want a toy in there, then it doesn't matter what my pussy thinks. This has damaged so many pussies, so many pelvic floors. It creates chronic tension and fear inside of your pelvic floor and your pussy that results in pain during sex, numbness, or just a lack of genuine excitement. Think of your pussy and your pelvic floor as a living thing because it is and respect and honor it so you never want to violate your own sexual boundaries so what you want to do is actually place one or two fingers right at the entrance to your vagina when you're feeling ready and really feel is my pussy desiring this is this a yes or you can place the g-spot toy right up to the entrance of your vagina ask yourself the same thing if it's a no Honor your pussy, honor your pelvic floor. Do not ever be non-consensual with your own body. So this is where consent starts, understanding the value of your own body, 
listening to your own yes, no, or maybe, and understanding how important it is to respect that. Step three, if you're feeling a yes, you can gently insert your fingers or the toy inside your vagina and you can do it very slowly. So really experiment with slowing things down because you will sensitize your body and train yourself to feel more. It might feel extra good if you use one hand to touch your external clitoris and use the other hand to either slide the toy in or gently slide in one or two fingers. What can be really delicious is to actually rotate your fingers or penetrate very gently in and out and really find what feels good to you. Almost tease your body and build up a sense of excitement with this internal pleasure stimulation. Step four, you can actually curl your fingers a little bit, or if you have a G-spot toy, it will already be curled in that way. And you can do gentle rotation. See if this feels good to you clockwise or counterclockwise, and really focus on inhaling and exhaling and relaxing your pelvic floor. This will allow your vagina to expand and create more spaciousness and even more room for pleasure. So orgasmic sensations get caused partially by a fluttering of the pelvic floor. So if your pelvic floor is open and relaxed, you're actually making space for deeper, more powerful contractions. Start to locate your G-spot. Now, if you're already familiar with it, then you can go right there. If you've never located it before, you're going to feel with your fingers or with the toy on the side of your vaginal canal that's closest to your belly button, not your butt, and you're feeling inside, it can be, in my experience, a half inch to three inches inside of the body. So this is what confuses some women, is that they think their G-spot is very deep inside of their vagina, and so they're only feeling for it way deeper than it actually is. I found a lot of people are surprised by how close their G-spot is to the entrance of their vagina. So make sure to really search out this whole area and feel for it. Now, most of the time, you're going to feel what feels like a bumpy ridge per protruding through the vaginal wall. It can feel like the roof of your mouth with those little like bumpy ridges. Some people say it feels a little bit like a walnut sticking out of the wall of the vagina. But here's the thing, women have different sized prostates. So some prostates are gonna be very big, creating a very noticeable, very bumpy G-spot. Other prostates are much smaller or even so small that they don't protrude outside the wall of the vagina. So every woman has a female prostate, but the size of it and how big of a G-spot it creates really varies. And this is why there's a lot of confusion about like, is there a G-spot? Where is it located? How do you find it? It's because the prostate varies in size and location. That means you're both feeling for what is potentially either a very large noticeable G-spot or something that doesn't protrude at all. And you're also feeling for something that is at various lengths inside of the vagina. So keep searching and feeling and know that if you don't find something that feels super noticeable, like it's protruding, it's very obvious that that is a different texture and a different shape than other parts of your vaginal wall, that you might be looking for something based on sensitivity. So you might actually need to press into your vaginal wall and feel for when something feels more intense. Because when you actually start tapping the prostate, you'll feel it's more intense, either in an uncomfortable way, like you have to pee or like it's just a stronger sensation or a very pleasurable way. Step five, once you actually locate the G-spot, you're going to experiment with a couple of different strokes to see which feels best to you. So you can do a come here kind of motion as though you're stroking with your fingers or the toy, inviting the G-spot out to play. You can do a circular motion around the G-spot. You can try tapping over and around the G-spot, and you can try various depths and various pressures. So some G-spots actually get irritated with pressure that's too soft. Some G-spots love that. Some G-spots won't feel that much unless it's very deep, intensive pressure. And what you wanna experiment with is many different ways of touching yourself, 
always tuning into what your body likes, but understand that sometimes you have to move through a sensation of having to pee or kind of strange sensations that don't feel that amazing at first, but do turn into pleasure. So the point here is listen to your body. Don't do anything that's a full no to your body, but be willing to explore and be willing to try different ranges of sensations for longer periods of time. Sometimes the big secret to finding your G-spot pleasure is actually staying with it for even 10 to 20 minutes and the kind of pleasure will unlock from your G-spot. Now, once you find the actual pleasure of the stroke, I invite you to stay with it. And the big key here isn't to be like, must have G-spot orgasm, must have G-spot orgasm, but to actually stay moment to moment with the pleasure. Touch yourself and notice how you're feeling instead of moving into a future orientation of what you want to get. When you stay present with your G-spot in that way, you can find some of the greatest G-spot pleasure available to you. Step six, if you love ejaculating or if you want to explore ejaculating yourself, you can stroke harder and deeper and more rapidly and you'll start to feel almost like a bearing down pressure, like something that wants to release. I would recommend if you're exploring that kind of thing to actually put a towel underneath you or a specialty mat or it can be a yoga mat with a towel over it which is super waterproof so that you don't have to worry about whether you're going to pee or not. This is really important because some estimates uh, from research say that up to 30% of women are restricting their orgasmic nature because they think they have to pee but actually they'd be having a G-spot ejaculation. So one of the best ways to work in explore this is actually on your own because who cares if you wet the bed on your own, right? And you could say, who cares if you wet the bed with your lover? And that's real shameless sexuality, but we know that it's going to be easier to get that kind of comfort on your own and then to be able to explore with a lover. So I highly recommend, especially if during sexual experiences, you felt like you have to pee or you're worried that you're going to pee or you feel a sensation that you have to pee, really let yourself go in this G spot pleasure, lift your knees up, put your feet down on the bed, stroke like your life depended on it, and really, really go for it and see what happens. Because almost like I'd say like 99% of the time, the women that I work with actually do this and realize that it was a massive explosive ejaculatory orgasm that they were holding back, not actually having to pee. And so that's one of the biggest ways to unlock your G-spot pleasure. Okay, I hope you have enjoyed this Experience. I've got links down below for you if you want to take this deeper. The first is to my virtual pleasure school. This is a free four-part training in so many beautiful things around your sexuality. You'll learn how to do advanced breast massage, how to work with your sexual energy, how to have a full body orgasm, and how to elevate your life and your nervous system through deep feminine practices. Basically putting your crown on through your sexual power. So you can access that by signing up down below. You can check out the link and also we've included a link to our ecstatic pussy massage. So if this is something that you would like to try with a lover, you can send that to your lover or you can offer it to someone yourself. That's again also a free guided download and it includes lots of different steps to fully awaken the pussy, to do a full body massage, and it also includes G-spot activation and pleasure as well. All right, go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of these sexuality guides and I'm sending you so much excitement for your G-spot pleasure. Sure.